The Afrolet podcast shares the stories of multifaceted Africans one episode at a time. The podcast aims to uncover the untold stories of modern and millennial Africans who are based in various parts of the world. Each episode gives listeners an opportunity to learn and experience conversations that showcase who they are and their global perspectives in our ever-changing world. Be sure to listen and subscribe to the Afrolit podcast on Spotify or wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. You can also follow at Afrolit Podcast on all social media platforms. You're listening to the news at this hour on Africa Business Radio. According to a U.S. government notice posted on Tuesday, goods made in Hong Kong for exports to the United States will need to be labeled as made in China after September 25. The move follows China's imposition of a national security law on Hong Kong and a U.S. decision to end the former British colony's special status on the U.S. law, escalating bilateral tensions that were already rising over trade war tariffs and the handling of the coronavirus outbreak. The latest step will see Hong Kong companies subject to the same trade war tariffs levied on mainland Chinese exporters should they make products subject to these duties, said the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Notice. It said that 45 days after its publication, goods must must be marked to indicate that their origin is China. And that was the news at this time on Africa Business Radio. You can continue to listen live online at www.africabusinessradio.com or via our mobile app. I am Rachel Chijindu. Thank you for listening. <laughs>